I'm sure my mum would be proud of me about this beautiful Italian meringue. <laughs> She'll love that. Let's go. So who cooks dessert on a barbecue? Me. Brave or stupid, I'm not sure, but definitely delicious. So I'm gonna be doing a dessert, which you probably wouldn't expect to do on a gusto barbecue. I'm gonna be doing a lemon meringue pie, and I'm gonna be finishing it with my tannin meringue, and then I'm gonna be burning it with the charcoal from the gusto. So it's a little bit different. It's something to say that we can do desserts outside and do something which is using the barbecue as well. I'm sure many people haven't seen um, this before. Um, doing desserts outside maybe is one of the things that people don't do, people are scared of. Um, so I'm here to show you that, that you can do it and you can be a bit strange and be a bit wacky with it um, and it comes out to be a beautiful dessert. A lot of pastry chefs would probably advise not to do this and they'd probably be looking at me saying, why are you doing this? But why not, let's break the rules. Start off with my sugar and my cast iron pan, 100 grams and then 25 ml of water. Dissolve the sugar in the water. So just give it a mix. That's gonna go into the, into the barbecue and I'm gonna get the uh, sugar to melt and get it to a perfect temperature of 121 degrees. So it's going in. Just give it a bit more, more heat. So now we want the egg whites, we want 50 gram of Egg white. Well, hey, we're getting some heat. Something's, something's working. So now my sugar is halfway. I can put my uh, egg white on, start whipping that up to a nice stiff peak. The tension of this barbecued sugar syrup. <laughs> So I've got sugar thermometer here. I'm just getting it to the good temperature, 121, out and straight into the, the whisk egg whites. So just lower the speed a bit and pour high and, high and slow. So now that's, that's cooking the egg white, but slowly. So that's gonna emulsify all together. Now it's another bit of a waiting game just to cool it down. <laughs> right, so now while the meringue is whisking and just cooling down, which is a really important part of the process, it must be cold when it comes out of the, the mixer. I'm just gonna fill my tarts with my lemon curd. So I've got a sweet pastry here and I've got my lemon curd, which is nice and sweet with a nice zesty, Acidic note to it. Fill that to the to the top. We're nearly there, and it looks not too bad actually. <laughs> I'm amazed. Barbecued Italian meringue. Tell me who's done that before. So now the Italian meringue is cold. I've got great stiff peaks. So I think everyone knows the test of of a good meringue. If it's doing that, then you've done a good job. And I've just done it in the gusto. So let's put it in the piping bag now. And we're just gonna pipe directly on top. Tannin meringue on the gusto barbecue in the Grillo studio. Look at that. Very happy with that. We're gonna take this dish to the next level now. We're gonna get a piece of charcoal from the barbecue and we're gonna ember the top and get that nice s'mores vibe to it. Real barbecue and outdoors. Right, so here we go. So the charcoal we want, nice small piece, all white and, and really red. That's exactly what you want. Really nice and hot. So 
usually I would do this in the restaurant, I would do it with a blowtorch. Um, but because we're outdoors, we've got the barbecue, I want to use the barbecue, um, so I'm going to use a piece of charcoal and toast the top with a piece of charcoal. Ultra luxurious, marshmallow small vibe, smoky, sweet, sour, lemon meringue pie on the barbecue. Delicious mess.